Well, for more on this, I talked to Ugandan climate scientist, Professor Frederick Samazi. He's been in the field all over Africa, seeing these problems firsthand. And he told me how the effects of weather penetrate far beyond business. By affecting um, uh, education, they are unable to pay school fees, they are unable to actually buy food and uh, pay for the very essential commodities. Uh, uh, so that's why uh, they are extremely uh, vulnerable uh, to fluctuations in climate and in particular to the kind of projected changes in climate uh, that uh, uh, the IPCC has projected. You mentioned their agriculture. Can you give us some examples of the kinds of problems that farmers, for example, would encounter as a result of climate change? Oh, yes, yeah. Agriculture in particular and the livestock, of course, uh, uh, are profoundly affected by uh, uh, climate uh, changes and, 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 and in future climate change. Um, in addition to temperature, which is, of course, extremely important for agriculture, uh, uh, climate uh, change would affect uh, the amount of rainfall, seasonal rainfall, as well as uh, the timing uh, of uh, the rainfall, uh, which will then, of course, affect the uh, quality and amount of crops and, um, and, and, and livelihood, uh, livelihoods which depend on livestock. And I would guess um, that I, of course, I, I would guess that would that would disrupt the harvest cycle, for example, if farmers are trying to produce goods to send overseas, climate change disrupts the harvest cycle, that's going to have an impact on their business. It will have an impact their business and, um, and, and it will affect the markets uh, in particular. And uh, so that di disruption actually will work its way uh, in all the um, aspects of their, of their livelihoods. In fisheries, uh, in the large lakes over, over Africa, where the climate is having a profound effect by changing um, the temperature in the water, is affecting um, the ecology and hence uh, the diversity of the fish. And so it's no longer the same as it used to be the type of fish they used to earn their livelihood on. And this is causing uh, uh, major repercussions throughout the entire socioeconomic functions. Specifically, which countries do you think are the most vulnerable right now? That, that is uh, hard to say. So it's mainly uh, those countries which have already got marginal climate. So if you think about that, then it will be the countries that are bordering uh, the, uh, uh, the desert, uh, and the which have got very uh, um, low amounts of rainfall already. So you can see when you have uh, a situation where the uh, climate conditions lead to further drying, that will just push them over the edge. And that's uh, a real big problem. Can climate change be good for any countries in Africa? I've read that, for example, in West Africa, we might see higher rainfall. That might help farmers grow crops in an area where they often struggle and have to import food. Yes, it's true that actually some regions which are, uh, have been uh, in the past very uh, dry and uh, uh, would actually begin to see a lot more rainfall. But uh, again, there is a situation where the, uh, one needs to have a strategy in place so that um, the, the, uh, uh, the farmers can actually adapt to the new conditions and be able to take ad maximum advantage of it. That was Professor Frederick Samazi from North Carolina State University talking to me earlier.